Nice. Mm. Uh, thanks, Angie. I'll take it. You know, she just got back from Spain. She brought our producer, Trina Martino, <laughs> back some, some Tarantinas, excuse me, back some sand from Spain. That's right. But she brought us some video. Absolutely. I spent two weeks in Spain. It is so beautiful. And you know, it's remarkably similar to Southern California. Yeah. You know yeah. that. But as I'm about to share with you, Spain is also very different in many ways. Southern Spain, at first glance, it could be Santa Barbara or Laguna Beach. Inland, it looks a lot like San Luis Obispo, mountainous yet desert-like too. The landscape so much like Southern California. There's even traffic like you'd find here, at least in this major city, Madrid. But this is where the similarities end. For the traveler, it doesn't take long to see how truly unique Spain really is. Its culture and its long, rich history set it apart. In many ways, a trip to Spain is a trip back in time. We started our journey in Madrid, a cosmopolitan city with a world-class art museum, a park rivaling New York's Central Park, an opulent royal palace with 2,000 rooms built in the 1700s, and the world's oldest restaurant. But to experience the heart and soul of Spain, we traveled south. Destination, Toledo. Its ancient buildings all well-preserved, some a thousand years old. A city beautiful up close, even better from a distance. So inspiring, El Greco, the 16th century great master painter, created his famous work, View of Toledo. We grabbed that exact same picture on videotape from our hotel. In Spain, you can stay in a 10th century Muslim castle one night, even exploring its dark, eerie tower. Hi, guys. or stay in a more modern 100-year-old Moorish palace the next. This is Granada, our next major stop. We toured one of the city's oldest buildings still standing, an 11th century Arabian bathhouse, checked out the cathedral built in the 1500s, and walked its ancient streets along the River Daro. It's beauty, too, inspiring artists. But Granada is best known for the Alhambra, for centuries of royalty, this fortress was their heaven on earth. Gardens and fountains and incredible palaces, the Moorish architecture breathtaking, unlike anything I've ever seen. But to witness something even more unusual, we jumped aboard a boat, passing the Rock of Gibraltar, eight miles across the Strait of Gibraltar, we stepped down in Africa. Tangier, Morocco, to be exact. <laughs> Our guide, Abdul, led us through the winding streets of the Medina, a section of Tangier with 1,200 narrow streets, yet only four ways in and out. Tough to navigate without a local. It is another world, another culture. To an American, it's hard to imagine any place more exotic. to Spain and my favorite city, Seville. In uh, 1492, Christopher Columbus sailed the ocean blue. And after discovering America and, and leaving Plymouth Rock and then sailing past that Gibraltar rock, the first place he stopped to show off his new scrapbook was in the very same town that I'm standing in now, 508 uh, years later. Seville is magical. Known for its magnificent 500-year-old cathedral, the largest Gothic building in the world where Christopher Columbus's tomb is located. Known for its charming streets and restaurants. Known for its flamenco dancing. But if you want to escape from the hustle and bustle of the cities, you can't beat the beach. The Costa del Sol, the southern tip of Spain on the Mediterranean and our final stop. It left me with one lasting question. When can I go back? Mm -hmm. 
what a photographer you oh, are. thank you. Hey, listen, we can use double duty. Exactly. You can shoot your own stuff, own stuff here. Yeah, hey, it was inspiring. <laughs> I had an amazing time, and I'll tell you, two semesters of Spanish paid off. I was able to okay. get around pretty well. Okay. The food was better the farther south you went compared to central, like Madrid. The weather was absolutely perfect. Like and Southern the, California. Exactly, and the people were fabulous. Everyone was so nice and friendly, and uh, it's just a wonderful place to visit. But don't go away soon again, okay. all right? We've got the Super Lotto Plus numbers. And get ready for a look inside the Pantages Theater 2000. We'll show you an incredible multi-million dollar makeover. But first, we're going to go outside, and we're going to look at uh, wherever we are, San Fernando.